In the last lesson, we looked at collecting or storing points in Grade Supervisor version 2. Now we'd like to stake out some of those points that we previously collected and talk about some of the stakeout options that we can offer. So I'm going to press stakeout on the menu, uh, the menu option stakeout on the toolbar. And the first thing it asks me is which coordinate file do I want to stake from? Well, I'm going to leave the same points file, newpointsfile.gpt, active because that contains the points that we collected previously. Now I can stake out this information from a couple of different ways. I can stake it from the coordinate file and pick the point and stake that way or pick this point and stake that way. I'll press cancel. Or I could actually go in and pick from the screen. So if I wanted to pick point 112, it asks me, is that the point that I want to stake? We'll come back to that. Go back into stakeout. Or if I know a coordinate, northing, easting, and elevation, that may not be staked out that I want to, that you know, that may not be, exist in the file, I can actually enter that, those, that point and navigate or go stake that point out. A couple of good uh, applications for this and also for selecting a different uh, file by, by which to stake from is it's a good idea to stake out a known point like a localization or a control point so that you can just check your system and make sure that you're accurate before beginning a day's work. And we can talk about that in later lessons as well. But stakeout's very useful for a lot of reasons. Let's go back to pick from screen. I will pick point 112 and I'll say yes, that's the point that I want to stake out. So what it's telling me is it's telling me that my grade points file is newpointsfile.gpt and the as staked file, which is a separate file by the same name with a different file extension, this contains my as staked or as built information and I'll show you what that means. We did pick point 112, we know it's a ground shot. And this is giving us our bearing and distance to get to this point. Also, we have a little heading uh, area here. This, the, these two lines, when they're on top of each other, means we're heading in the right direction. And I'll, I'll give you an idea how that works. So let's go ahead and move the vehicle. And you can see that as I'm navigating to that point, it's basically counting down to zero my bearing, my distance, and I'm just kind of moving this around so you can see this bearing here as we get the right bearing in on the point, how this overlays. I'll stop and let's look at that a moment. So you can tell that I'm. this is the direction I'm going, there's the point. So basically it's taking the bearing that I'm heading, showing the bearing uh, to the point, and just giving us sort of a difference to help us navigate to that point. I'll move a little closer, and once you get inside a little bit closer area here, I will zoom this up, the points, this starts spinning, and this starts spinning within a tolerance so that you know that you're getting close to the point. Sometimes, depending on the accuracy of your work, you may want to get out of the truck, walk over, with a GP, pull the GPS rod off, stake the point a little bit tighter, but let's say this is where we want to, to accept where we're staking this point. We know we have a little bit of a delta. We're not completely on the point. But I'm going to go ahead and press store point. Now, what this shows us is our positional status. It shows us how well, uh, what our accuracy is, our GPS accuracy, our horizontal and vertical root mean square, shows that we're pretty, that our solution is tight showing us that we are staking point 12, it is a ground shot. These are the deltas or differences in my northing, easting, and elevation directions. So when I store this, one, point 112 with all of that positional information is stored inside of this as staked file, the, the point file with the .as extension. This gives us a record of how well we stake the point. 
So if I press OK, if you'll notice my point, these points are unstaked. This point is now staked. And let's back that up a little bit. And this shows us that this point has been marked so that we know it's been staked. Now, I can pick another point from the screen and say yes and repeat the same procedure. Or I can simply say next and it will pick the next uh, sequence point number in, that exists in that file. Say OK. And then we start repeating that again to stake to that point. So that's point stakeout. There's a little bit more uh, options, but this will give you a nice overview of how well we can take coordinates that we have maybe on a sheet of paper, stake control points or localization points to check our work, or access points that we need to stake gas wells in, or in a landfill, or perhaps it's a, a manhole or a, you know, parking lot, curb and gutter, whatever it is that you might be needing to stake out. So stake out in Grade Supervisor version 2.